All right, so here's what happens. If someone wants to export a bunch of things, have them on different tracks, they're different lengths. I just have uh, two to four minute, two to five minute tracks that we're going to export, and I'm going to export all of them as a WAV file, and I'm going to use two different methods. If I just need a WAV, note that I can convert a whole bunch of things later to MP3s if I want. My favorite tool for doing that outside of this is uh, Switch, and I probably could do that with the Studio One has a batch processor. I'm going to see if I can do that for another one, but uh, for today, I'm just assuming you need to go out to WAV file. WAV files, all right? So here's what happens. We've got uh, six tracks here, I think, and I'm just going to export all of them. Now, as long as I've got them all set up and I just want six files, so I can go to the browse window here. This is where it's going to start off, the browse window, and I'm going to switch over here to files. And then one of the things that you can do is you can go find your drives, and you can work your way to wherever you want to go, and you can create a new, this, this tool here allows you to create a new, uh, when, you're, when you're in a certain place, you're on a drive here, then you can go into, here's audio, and I could go through and just do different things here, and I can add, and, I can, and then I made it a root. So that's a whole different subject. So let's assume that you have a folder that you want to go to, and you work your way to that folder. Now, I have all these files. Are all these uh, events here. It's Control A. I can go through and select them all. I've just selected all of them. Control or Command A. You can see all the events are selected, and I can drag them over. And then just before I'm ready to drop them, if you add the Alt key, you can switch. And it's really hard to see on this screen, but uh, right down in this section here, there's a little X under Wave File. I press Alt, and it's going to WAV file with rendered effects and then audio loop. We don't want that one. We either want the first one or the second one, usually, as a rule. So I'll do it with effects. And when I let go of that, because I've dragged them all in, then what's happening is Studio One is going through, and it is exporting uh, all six files here all at once there. Okay? So that that will, and if, I, if you right-click here, you can, this would be on the Mac, it would be Show and Finder. On my PC, it's Show and Explorer. And when you click on that, it's going to come up. And then what's going to happen with that is you can see they're all different lengths based on the WAV file. And uh, I do have a program that called Switch, uh, NCD, I believe, NCD Switch. And it'll if I wanted to convert them all to MP3 or something like that. So I can do that in one one step where I drag them all over. Alternately, depending on what I'm doing, there are times where that's not enough and I want to do it a little bit differently there. And so I'm going to look at my little dashboard here, see if anybody's asking any questions. I have to arrange that screen better so I can actually see that as well. And that's over there. And okay, I don't see any comments there yet, but it'd be good if there is a comment. Throw a comment in there just so I know that uh, you're seeing this, you're hearing this, that it's working. And so that's the thing that I cannot tell yet. <laughs> right. Uh, but we're doing it anyway. All right. So there's that. And I think I have that. Yeah, there we go. Throw a comment. Throw a comment. All right. Then, so that, that did it one time. The other thing that we could do easily is we could take, and I'm going to minimize, get the, this out of the way, go back to Studio One. And... Sometimes, because of whatever I'm doing, I want to uh, do some fancier things. I've, I have a bunch of processing that's on this one track, and these were a different file, and I just want to export them all in one track. So here's what you can do. I'll close the browse window. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it up here, and what I would do is compact it all down, meaning I zoom way out. So now I can see 40 minutes, and I'm just going to drag them, and I really don't care. I don't need to be super precise with them. And there's track five, there's number six. All right, so now I have them all on one track. And when you have them on one track, then highlight across all of them on the bottom half so you have all your events selected. The other way I could shift double click. Would shift double click will select all events on an existing track, shortcut there. And then there's something under event called remove gaps. You could assign a shortcut key to that or a macro button if you wanted to. But if you remove gaps, now they're all. Uh, at the beginning, I would go home, so you can do that. If you've got my little macro toolbar, you're, you're back at home when you do that. So there we are. Now, home I don't need to worry about because it's going to automatically get start and end. I should open the marker track. I'm going to use markers on this one, and right now you can see start and end 
at the wrong spots. Now, I don't have to drag this around. I could just leave it there. doesn't really matter. What I do want to do is if I use my arrow key, it's going to select the arrow keys on your keyboard are going to select each of the events. So you can use that to your, your advantage. Use arrow key, and then I'll use L, which puts the cursor right at the beginning of the current event. And then I can choose Y, and it puts in a marker. And then I can use arrow key, L, Y, to put in a marker. And then I'm going to use arrow key, L, Y. And if you weren't there, it'd be arrow, L, Y. And, and that gets me those. And then now I really don't have to worry about it because the normal thing we do to export, I'm going to export stems. And when I do that, it's going to set the start and the end at the beginning. You'll see this, 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 and this. I'm on this track here. I'm going to call this export now, uh, export all. And then I choose between each marker. And it's going to go ahead and start at the beginning and export six. And then I have to do it. It'll show me where it's going to put them. And if I wanted to put it something different, I would put them something different. OK, so I simply do this do this and now it's done the same thing that it did with these other ones where it did these here that was the first test and now it's going to do the next test over here the difference is this one brings in the track names this one uses the marker names and so depending on what you're going to do it's going to I, I could have chose a better name like I could have instead of export all I would have put name of project and it would give me one through six and now it, it popped that box and you can see there's the beginning to the end, and it'll put them all in there uh, for you, depending on what you have in there. And I'm, oh, when I selected that, hold on. I got some extra, I have two extra files in here, and that's my fault because I had some other things in there. And it just depends on what you select. Let's go back and see what I selected because I did this. And, um, yep, I've got this between each marker. And then that will do what I want this time correctly. Okay. So, because that's what I have on that track. And it will, oh, I missed one. See that? Look at that. I missed one. Uh, so, missed one. <laughs> do this, L, Y. Now I have that in there. Now that works out right. Because it knew it had an extra one in there. And uh, then there wasn't anything there for it. Um, so it took a longer one there, and now it will export all the right ones there. Okay? So I don't have to have any, anything selected. I can go based on markers. If I want it to use the names, I can go ahead and it'll, it'll sequence them, O2, and then this is going to be file name 2. And now what will happen is it'll pick up this, and I can go through these with a double click and I can name this. I don't usually do that. A lot of times I'll just name them. If I really wanted to do that, I find it easier to name them afterward, but it depends on what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I'll name them here, or sometimes I'll just leave the sequence numbers and then I could rename them over in the File Manager or File Explorer uh, or, or Finder, depending on what I'm doing there. I also have some tools that can do renames. And then I'll talk about other days, about other things that we can do. But that'll cover about 80% of the cases. And I'm also working behind the scenes to get us a feature that will do some other things that uh, will make this even easier. But that's all that you have to do. If you wanted to have them all on one track, export them. And based on if you put marker names in there, it'll put the markers in there. It'll use those names on the export. It, and then if you don't, it'll just sequence them all for you. And you can rename them when you're in the file manager. Uh, by the time you drag them up and then you use right arrow L, which is locate, and Y, right arrow L, Y, and if I use two hands with that, you could do that pretty quick. That'll get them out that way. So it just depends on what you're doing. Hope one of those two methods helps you. There's other things you can do, and I don't even see any comments in there, but uh, whatever. If I have to do this again because it didn't work out to the stream, <laughs> I will do it again. I'll trim stuff off too. All right. Hope you're having a fantastic evening or day or week, or month, or year, whatever is whatever's happening in your world when you're watching this. Uh, join the Facebook group if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're in YouTube, if you're in Facebook group, hey, check them out on the... Uh, it's easier to find things. It's easier to search for things on YouTube. So that's why I'm dual streaming all this stuff. It'll all go to YouTube as I'm doing them live. 
You can find them there. I got to trim things up when we're done and label them nicely, but you'll be able to find them there, you know, two months from now, six months from now when you really need it. All right. Hope you're having a great one. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.